He said, I met a good woman, but her trauma from her past and issues with her mom is keeping us apart. She lives 10 hours away. She's 30. What should I do? She going to have to work through that. Know what I'm saying? Um, she's going to have to be receptive to getting help. And unfortunately, Shobo G, a lot of the, the women, especially here, I'm going to be real. We expect to get with men and dump all of our trauma and our drama and our problems off on you guys for you to deal with and for you to fix and for you to try to sort through. That's unfair. So what you need to do, if you really want to tolerate or deal with this female, she has to be ready and willing to put it in the work for herself. Be open and receptive to the help that you offer to her. Whether that be going to a counselor or going to therapy or, you know, journaling, reading books about certain things, whatever. She has to be ready and willing to do that for herself. Do not allow a female to dump all her shit out on you at all. Do not allow a female to constantly use the excuse of, well, I've been through this in my childhood and that's why I ain't shit. And I've been through this in my childhood and my mom was like this and this is why I can't treat you right. Or this is why I can't get my act together. And this is what, don't do that. Because a lot of us will if you allow that. I was that same way. I'm speaking from personal experience. Hear me out. When I come on here and I'm telling y'all these things, I, I need to understand I'm, a, I'm still a woman, right? I've done certain things. I've witnessed certain things. I know how women operate, how we maneuver. And if you allow us to use our trauma and our unresolved issues as a crutch, we will. Trust me, I've done that plenty of times in my past. In my past relationship, I absolutely used that shit. I've had some, look y'all, y'all know not what your little big sis has gone through. Still goes through. My life was not that, it, it was not that great y'all, was not. This was a lot of work, a lot of evolving, a lot of development, a lot of growing. And I absolutely used to be like, oh, well, I've been through so much. So that's why I'm disrespectful to you. I don't know how else to be because this is how I was raised or this is what I witnessed. And this is no. And if a man sits around and says, oh, okay, well, I understand that. Yeah, that's why you a piece of shit. You a piece of shit because, you know, your family was a piece of shit. And they taught you how to be a piece of shit. And you don't know how else to be. And so, yeah, I'll tolerate that. And I'll just uh, keep accepting abuse. That's unfair as fuck. And we know that. And we'll get that off if you let us. Yeah, so just tolerate my abuse because after all, I've been through so much. Bitch, get that shit together. Then holler at me. That's what my husband had to do to me. He had to check me respectfully. Like, girl, we all been through shit. Get that together. Don't talk to me like that. Don't treat me like that. Don't do that. I don't, I don't deal with that. And guess what? I tried them. Like so many of us women do. Females do. I'm sorry. Oh, he ain't gonna go nowhere. Shit. You gotta be ready and willing to walk away as well. And my husband was. I wasn't used to that. And he meant it. It wasn't a bluff. No, oh, she think I'm fucking playing. You gotta be ready and willing to walk away for your damn respect, period. Because if you don't, you will play on that. So... What should you do? Hold her accountable and, and, and uh, hold her to task as far as fixing and resolving her issues. Because that will have an effect on you. Right? 